What's up guys, Randy Pappy once again. Welcome back to another vlog slash, uh, I'm kind of glad this couldn't be a vlog, but welcome back to another episode of the Super Impreza build. We're gonna be doing this build here from now on out. Um, it's a new build series we're gonna be doing. Um, this is gonna be on my buddy Josh's car, which you guys saw in the last build slash vlog. On, yes, on the uh, last video, um, we saw that we trying to diagnose, try, we did an oil change on the car, try to see what's wrong with the car, and determining, and that was right knock. Fortunately, haven't heard anything as of yet from anyone who's able to help out, but right now, the, the car is knocking hard, and we are, this is going to be uh, part two of the episode where, uh, of the series that we are going to be ripping the motor out. We're gonna be tearing. Uh, gonna be taking the motor out of the Subaru, and we're you know, and we're gonna try to tear it down, find out what's going on, see if there's any damage to the internals anywhere, uh, determine if it's not raw knuck or if it is raw knuck or a lifter tick or something. Uh, we're gonna check it again, make sure once the engine's out of the car. But we're not gonna. We don't think we're gonna remove the engine tonight. We'll probably end up uh, pulling the engine itself out another time. So for now, we're just gonna be doing taking all the plugs out, fuel stuff. Radiator and just putting, draining the fluids out of the car pretty much doing Everything that we need so literally all we need to do the next time is put a chain on the motor and Take the motor mounts out take the trans bolts out and then the motor is ready to come out Yeah, so we're gonna try to figure out what's going on with it after we uh, we'll get the motor out another day And we'll tear it down see how it is see what's going on underneath and uh, Yeah, so we'll see you guys there So we made it back. I mean, I'm back. We are back here at Josh's place right now. Here she is. Here she sits, exactly where we left her the other the other night. So I don't know what's going on with it, but we're gonna. It's already getting a little bit darker, but we have a garage. We'll be a little bit warmer. We're gonna be. Getting the mo car, pretty much getting the car ready to get taken out, for the motor to get taken out, but showing us this new camera back setup. Got room for everything, man. It's pretty fire, dude. Got a little bit smaller, too, compared to like the bigger ones the that I have. For the T6 and the T3. Ooh. YouTube starter pack right there. Right? <laughs> like yesterday, it was 60 degrees, pouring rain all day, got really foggy, and then started snowing a little bit, and then all of it turned to ice today. <sighs> the last video was like 28 minutes long. I cut some parts out, a lot of parts out of it, it which will be, long. which, yeah, it was too long, but like, I'll do like another sh small, like little video afterwards of like some shenanigans when we pull the <laughs> exhaust off. Oh, oh yeah, I got the same lens. I love it. Uh, we're gonna start getting the car into the garage in a few minutes, so we'll go do that. Yeah, we actually have room yeah, to work now, guys. Now, time to go get what? Real what coffee. Real coffee. Real coffee. DJ. DJ. So we're walk. So Josh convinced you to be a continuation of TJ Hunt, but East Coast style. So we'll be walking Dunkin' Donuts. So we out here, boy. Please. Anything else? No, that's it. I'm gonna have coffee, uh, cream and sugar. Okay. And I'm gonna get a glazed uh, jelly donut. We got our stuff now back to the garage. Alright. <laughs> 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 
All right, so we're back in the garage. We're probably gonna get copyrighted and demonetized for this, but whatever. We're listening to some music as we're doing this stuff. We're gonna be taking off the pretty much that, 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 that and a lot of other stuff. But just pretty much, we're gonna be getting the car pretty much down to bare bolts, just for motor mounts and transmission mounts. I hope you know you're not gonna be able to really move this car because the battery's gotta come out. Unless you just wanna leave it in and take that out last. If you're ever doing a motor swap or you're doing any kind of maintenance on your car or you're rebuilding anything, get a shit, literally, a shit ton of Ziploc bags, label them. This says air intake. It's gonna make your job so much easier. Well, you know, not a whole bunch it's easier. It's not a whole bunch, like, but it's really, not a bag of bolts, but at least it's like the five bolts that go to that instead of the bolts that go have everywhere, and then like, yeah. you'll have one that's literally a millimeter or, longer. Or, or yeah, or, and some of these bolts are different grades, so those yeah. bolts might snap in different places where you should. You need to torque it down. Yeah, you need to torque down, and those won't handle shit. Okay, so a little bit, some time has passed. We got the car back up, we got the car in the air. I took some of the uh, air box components out. We're going to be pulling, or getting the coolant and oil out of the car, so we're gonna go do that right now. Yeah. By the way, guys, we found the clip for the washer, washer fluid. Oh. <laughs> no, I thought I didn't even have it up here. No, I got you. So, we found it up here. So, yay. We're just getting some stuff off now, so. Yep. All right, guys, so, yeah, demonetized for music, but whatever. All right, so the last video that we showed sewing the contamination in oil. Now look how contaminated it is now. Look for some of the separation. Those little, like, humps, like little bumps in the oil, that's contaminated, like, that, the oil. There we go, right there. There it is, right there. Move the oil. You see right there how it's moving? That's oil. Re uh, that's coolant reacting to the oil. See so that spot? That's reaction uh, with the, the oil. It's contaminated. It's much worse than before. There's a whole bunch of like air bubbles getting trapped. A lot of air bubbles in here and a couple of metal shavings. So yeah, this, the new oil definitely flushed out the old one. It seemed like it flushed it out, but it wasn't enough because Definitely knowing that it does have head gasket failure for sure because Yeah So the placement the spark plugs are higher on this than they are down there They're dusty. There's no crusty though Real moisture on there though. That's good Alright, we are That's oil If we pull that uh, spark plug out, just give me oily as shit we pull the, the plug out. Cylinder. This is one. cylinder one. So we're checking the spark plug right now, pulling it out. See what it, she looks like. Oh, it didn't come out. Is that a magnet? Let's take a look. It's definitely. Let me see. These are bad plugs. 
Oh, they're NGK Iridium. Um, yeah, bro. Uh, I don't know if somebody put like anti seize on these. Uh, yeah, front one's two, back one's four. You see that white stuff on my finger? That's anti seize. You're not supposed to put anti seize on a car uh, for spark plugs. You're not supposed to. Well, yeah, not for smart I was going to say, for all other stuff, it's actually pretty decent. Well, I mean, for other stuff, yeah, for, like, exhaust bolts and stuff, but, yeah, but, you know, for, like, brakes and stuff, but not not for... Like, not water shouldn't be getting in there in the first place. So if you need to put anti-seize on them shit so water doesn't get in there, you already have a fucking problem to fix. So, you know, the previous kid who owned this fucking car, you know, who, like, had some stupid-ass motherfuckers, like, work on it, fuck you. Fuck you. Just a good fuck you. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Alright. I'll put this on for you. This on for you. Oh, making, making touching tips. Touching tips. There we go. Not sure how much leverage you're gonna get with that, but I think you're pretty gooch. All right, so we just we just pulled out spark plug pull three, out. and the threads. Focus, focus, camera, focus. Are covered. It is covered. Oh, there we go. It is covered in oil. So that was part of a misfire. Uh, the misfire right there. Alrighty, guys. So. We're gonna cut it for the night right now. So we got a good amount of stuff done with it. Um, we got some stuff packaged up, some stuff ready to go. So, um, oh nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Jesus Christ! I'll fucking just. Yeah, leave it. Leave it straight. I'll say just leave it straight. <laughs> Dude, it's so weird having the keys turned but nothing's on. And yeah. Like, I feel like it's I'll a kill the pain. battery, but it's not gonna kill the battery. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it's. Yeah, so right right there, like nine and three, perfect. You can see, uh, go follow my Instagram. It will be in the des uh, in the description, and also go follow him on his Insta as well. And uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoy this video. You guys like, thumbs up, subscribe, and just lead the way, guys. Take care. Let's go.